Hello everyone, I'd like to welcome you to Life Launch University. This year, your school is focusing on some new skills for their students. Powerful skills. I'm not talking about nunchuck skills or computer hacking skills. We're talking about social, emotional, and character skills. We're ready to start a new term with you. You know what that means? That means anything is possible. You can literally be whoever you want to be. Achieve whatever you want to achieve. You get to give yourself a fresh new start. Now, of course, you're not going to change or grow much without thinking about it for yourself and making your own goals. Cow oh, man, goals? Why does that always sound so difficult? I guess it's because it means you actually have to get up and do something instead of just wishing that one day you'll be great. Dreams don't just come true if you don't do anything about them. You've got to work hard for your dreams and it's absolutely worth it. The hardest part is just getting past your toughest opponent. Do you know who that might be? Well, it's yourself. You've got to school your toughest opponent. You've got to get out of your comfort zone and into the courage zone where you show yourself who's boss. Then you'll be making decisions and achieving your goals like a boss. Well, just exactly how do you do that? It all starts with values and emotions. How can you achieve big dreams in life if you don't even know what you value? Or what emotions will hurt you or help you realize those dreams. So let's do it right now. Take a look at your success map and let's write down two things that you really value. In case you're having a hard time coming up with some ideas, here's a few suggestions of some values. Adventure, balance, courage, curiosity, discipline, empathy, family, flexibility, humor, integrity, knowledge, leadership, love, popularity, respect, service, trust. Sometimes it can be hard coming up with an answer right away. So throughout this year, we're going to learn some powerful mindfulness practices to help. In fact, we're going to start together right now. The purpose of mindfulness is to train your brain to explore the thoughts and feelings and learn to focus. Dr. Amit Ray, an Indian author and spiritual master said, if you want to conquer the anxiety of life, live in the moment. So let's start our mindfulness moment right now. Here's how it works right now. I need everybody to sit comfortably, facing forward, eyes open, and feet on the floor. Go ahead and relax your arms on your legs. Looking forward, not really paying attention to any specific thing, but let yourself soft focus on whatever. Now, turn your attention to your breathing and take a nice deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. And again, in through the nose and out through the mouth. Now with this one, when you're ready, let your eyes relax and even close as another deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. And turning your attention to the body and the weight of your body, pressing down against the chair the weight of your arms on your legs and your feet against the ground. Letting your breath become regular and normal in whatever pattern is easy. Just acknowledge the sounds that are all around you, but turning your attention to the body, doing a quick scan of the feelings in your body as you move from head down to the toes. And now, Turning your attention, gently coming back to the breath again. Letting the mind be completely free. Letting it think whatever it wants to think. 
Now, gently turning the mind back to the breathing. In these moments, consider now the values. Letting your mind wander. Exploring the idea of what you value. Give yourself just a moment to consider right now what you really value. And now, turning your attention back to the breath. And gently bringing your attention back to the body. And when you're ready, opening your eyes, giving yourself just a moment to consider how you feel. Just take a moment to consider what values came to mind. If you didn't have any specific values come to mind, no worries. You'll have some more time over the next week to give it some thought. Essentially, you're looking to define principles or standards of behavior. Your judgment of what is important in life. Those are your values. Take a moment and write down the top two values that stand out to you on your success map. You can revise them later if you need to, but this is a good starting point. Now, in order to set some really effective goals based on your values, we need to understand a bit about setting good goals. Goals are intended to make you stretch a little, help you take that next step towards greatness. We don't need to worry about conquering the world just quite yet. We're just looking to expand our comfort zone a little. You know what the comfort zone is? Well, it's that place where you're totally at ease, in the zone, not worried or stressed. It's different for everybody. And what we're looking to do is help you increase your comfort zone by taking just a step beyond it. Do you know what that space is called just past your comfort zone? Well, it's the courage zone. It takes a bit of courage to step into the unknown. But that feeling of accomplishment that comes after you've conquered that fear, it's the grand payoff. It's the feeling of success. So we want to become really good at exploring the courage zone and expanding our comfort zone. So now that we've got an idea of what we value, let's look at setting some goals. We'll use the SMART acronym as a starting place. Turn to page three of your SEL guidebook and write down what SMART stands for. We'll go into detail with each one, but SMART stands for specific, measurable, appropriate, realistic, and timetable. The goal should be specific. Know exactly what it is you want to accomplish. Write it down and refer to it often. So instead of saying, I want to have more friends, make it more specific. It's something like, I'm going to call or talk to one person every day and ask them how they are doing with the intent to really listen. Make the goal measurable by including numbers, like the one person every day, part of our example. It has to include numbers in order for it to be measurable. Next, make sure it is appropriate, that it is in harmony with your values. For example, if you value family and peace, setting a long-term goal of becoming a war correspondent journalist might not be consistent with your values and bring you lasting joy. Realistic, set goals that you have to reach for. But don't set yourself up for failure by setting a goal that you can't achieve. Share the goal with someone and ask for their support in helping you achieve the goal. You're more inclined to complete your goal if someone else knows about it. And finally, every good goal needs a timetable. If we don't set a time limit, we'll not focus on completing the goal. Motivate yourself by setting a time limit for completion of each goal. If you don't accomplish it in the specific time frame, don't worry about it. Don't count it as a failure. Just reevaluate and adjust. 
Now, you may have had some ideas come to mind about what goals you'd like to focus on this term. If you have, write them down on your success map and double check them with the SMART goals guidelines. To make sure it's a good goal, whether it's developing a skill or finding really good friends, the first thing to remember is that you are in control. You get to pick your goals and that no one is just going to give it to you, but we can all work together to make your dreams come true. Maybe you're asking yourself, why are we all doing this? Well, maybe you've seen or heard in the movie with Matthew McConaughey called Failure to Launch. It's a great movie about a 35 year old guy still living with his parents, not ready to take on life's commitments because life at home is frankly too easy. His comfort zone is so small, he sees no need to step into the courage zone and experience some of life's greatest joys of relationships, family, and adulting. That's what we're talking about here at Life Launch University. We're going to learn how to discover and realize your greatest dreams and make a success map to get there. What is it that stops us from getting there? Worry, anxieties, excuses, lack of knowledge. In today's world, it's not a lack of resources. Take a look at Michael Jordan, born in Brooklyn, New York, and later became the legend of basketball. Or born into poverty, Oprah Winfrey, who became the first African-American TV correspondent in Tennessee. Time and time again, we hear of these success stories as individuals learn how to overcome anxiety with resilience and mindfulness. Resilience really is just the skill of picking yourself up, dusting yourself off, and moving forward. And mindfulness is learning to look within yourself and be aware of how mind and body connect. Both are like a muscle. It takes time and consistent effort to grow. So don't get frustrated or down. We're going to be doing this a lot together. And you'll eventually do this on your own as you take life's challenges head on with confidence and courage. So make sure to turn in your SEL principle of the day to your instructor. Write down two SMART goals on your success map and share what you've learned today with your parents or a trusted adult. Oh, and by the way, the other schools in your area are all enrolled with Life Launch University too. And the school that has the most adult participation in this program gets to have a premiere screening of the Avengers Endgame at Megaplex Movie Theater. So take it seriously and get the adults in your life involved. They'll love it. Tomorrow, we're going to learn more about maintaining balance through mindfulness. We're going to introduce the resilience model and how to get straight A's in the school of life. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Good work today. You just took your first step towards getting your Masters of Emotions from Life Launch University, where together we learn how to successfully launch into life. We'll see you tomorrow.